Hey guys, let's um, work on pushing some of these away with some really, really simple nutrition interventions. Let's start with the most important one vitamin D. Deficiencies have been linked to de depression and fatigue. Now, unless you spend 90 minutes in the sun midday with no cloud in shorts and t-shirt, the chances are you're going to be deficient. And to get it from food, you would need to consume 143 eggs per day just to get the right minimum amount. So ideally, you need to supplement with around about 4,000 IU of vitamin D per day. But that's for when your levels are at a correct level not for when it's rock bottom, which is where 50% of the population is probably sitting right now. So all that 4,000 IU dose is gonna do is stop your levels dropping even more. So the, ideally, what you need to do is go to see your doctor, get a blood test, find out what level you're actually sitting at now, and then the doctor will be able to describe a bolus dose to bring you back to the correct level. And at that point, we can then continue to supplement with 4,000 IU a day to keep your levels at a good rate to keep away that depression and fatigue. Next, we need to consider omega-3. There's links and studies showing lots and lots of benefits that come from taking omega-3. And one of them happens to be reducing depressive symptoms. Studies tell us we need to be taking 300 to 1,800 per day of EPA and DHA combined or added together. So what you need to do is look on the back of the bottle of the container you're taking and add them two numbers together and make sure that it goes between 300 and 1800 per day. If you have a lot of fatty fish in your diet, you can go towards the lower end. If you don't, go towards the higher end. Next, if your diet doesn't have lots of variety with fruits, vegetables and red meats, you need to be considering your magnesium, iron, and vitamin B12. Again, you can go to your doctor and ask him to give you a blood test to check, check these levels, especially your iron levels. Some of your anxiety, depression, and fatigue could be because you're actually anemic and you don't know you are. So your blood test will show you this. Now, when it comes to iron, don't just go ahead and start supplementing with that. Ask your doctor for a blood test first because there, are, there is some adverse effects from having too high iron within your blood. Next, we need to be considering whether you're getting enough sleep. The National Sleep Foundation have suggested that seven to nine hours is ideal for adults. Now, everybody's gonna be different, so you need to find out what level you're at to make sure that you're not undersleeping. The next thing to consider is that you're not consuming caffeine late in the afternoon or the evening because that can affect your REM sleep or your uh, recovery sleep, and alcohol can do this too. So for me, I literally keep my caffeine to the morning. Next, there are studies linked to fatigue and hydration. So if you're dehydrated, you might be more fatigued. So it's a good idea to drink enough to make sure that your, your pee is clear when you go to the toilet. And a cool one, flexible dieting where you have no restriction with the food you eat, you don't consider foods as good or bad, has been linked to reduction in depression. A calorie deficit will come with some fatigue, we know that. So what you need to do is balance it or how low you bring your calories with your mood, your motivation, and if you have any depressive symptoms from that. Studies show us the more relaxed you are with your nutrition will lower your depression anxiety, especially when it comes to your food. So if you're following some silly meal plan, Weight Watchers, Slimmers World, clean eating, keto, or some of a silly plan that someone's told you to do, just consider that that might be increasing your anxiety, depression, or fatigue. So guys, just to finish, I'm gonna list this in the comments, just dead simply so you can see what there is to do, but if you need any more help with it, just shoot me a message.